Hi, good morning children and welcome to St. Andrew Sunday School Online Sharing. Uh, I'm Teacher Ku here. Hi, hi, hi. And it's great to see you all here today. Such a wonderful Sunday morning. Now, shall we go for opening prayer? Close our eyes and hands together and let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, as we start this new day for new learning, we ask for your guidance. Thank you for another day to learn and a new set of things we will experience. As we go through our lesson today, help us to be obedient and kind to one another. Please bless our teachers, our schools, and the students. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Okay. Now, today, Teacher Ku would like to share with you all uh, today's Bible text reading. Uh, the title is God Promise, Promises Deliverance. Okay. Now, it's taken from Exodus. Uh, chapter 5 verse 22 to chapter 6 verse 12 Okay, now did you could will read out Moses returned to the Lord and say Oh Lord, why have you brought trouble upon these people? This is why you sent me Ever since I went to Pharaoh to speak in your name, he has brought trouble upon these people. And you have not rescued your people at all. Then the Lord said to Moses, Now you will see what I will do to Pharaoh. Because of my mighty hand, he will let them go. Because of my mighty hand, he will drive them out of his country. God also said to Moses, I am the Lord. I appear to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob as God Almighty. But by my name, the Lord, I did not make myself known to them. I also established my covenants with them to give them the land of Canaan, where they live as alien. Moreover, I have heard the groaning of the Israelites, whom Egyptians are enslaving, and I have remembered my covenant. Therefore, say to Israel, I am the Lord, and I will bring you out from under the yoke of the Egyptians. I will free you from being slave to them and I will redeem you with an outstretched arm and with mighty act of judgment. I will take you as my own people and I will be your God. Then you will know that I am the Lord your God who brought you up from under the yoke of the Egyptian and I will bring you to the land I swore will up leave hand to give to Abraham to Isaac and to Jacob I will give it to you as possession I am the Lord Moses report this to Israel but they did not listen to him because of their discouragement and cruel bondage. When the Lord said to Moses, Go, tell Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to let Israel go out of his country. But Moses said to the Lord, If the Israel will not listen to me, why would Pharaoh will listen to me? Since I speak with Fortering leads. Okay, that's the end of the Bible text reading uh, 
from taken from Exodus chapter 5 verse 22 to chapter 6 verse 12. Now, in this part here, Teacher Ku would like to share a thing or two about this uh, uh, the Bible text reading. Mm, as you and as you all know, right, mm, they complain that God is making things worse, not better. How often we have vision of what life is supposed to be like as God's people. All that Moses has done is that what God told him to do. And now everyone is yelling at him because he's making worse. Now children, when trouble comes, we often left to wondering, you know, pondering what God is doing. But we ourselves must acknowledge that our life can become more far difficult because we are doing God's will. We must prepare for this reality and not lose hope or faith when our effort to do God's will will cause difficulties in our life. How sad that people would give up so easily on God because life had become difficult. And how sad that people would ignore God's message of redemption and and rescue because life was not going according to plan. Now, dear children, God has promised to bring us out from our burdens, deliver us from slavery, um, redeem us with open arms, and bring us into promised land. Now, serving God will not be easy, but He is worthy of our service. He is worthy for our worship. He is worthy for our obedience because of all He has done for you, for me, for all of us. So children, if you're facing difficulties, you must remember one thing. Do not lose hope. Do not lose your faith. Kneel and pray and share your problems, your concern, your fear to our Lord. And for sure, He will help us because He already gave us a promise already. He already promised us already. So children, don't lose hope when you're facing difficulty, okay? And always pray. Now, that's the end of my sharing. Uh, sorry, it's very short today, <laughs> my sharing. And um, let's go to memory verse. Now, today memory verse taken from Psalm chapter 46 verse 11. Okay. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Okay, so that is a memory verse for this week. Please remember children, read your memory verse. Okay, digest it. Okay, digest this memory verse in our mind, our heart. Okay, and don't forget always... Pray if you have facing a difficulties. Don't lose hope. Don't lose faith. Okay? Now, uh, Teacher Ku would like to do a closing prayer. Okay? Alright, children. Hands together. Eyes closed. We give you thanks for all the grace you have given upon us. We thank you for letting us learn about your will 
and keeping alive the faith in our heart. God, we also thank you for helping us to not give up. Hope that you will, will support and guide us in everything we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, thank you children for having me here today. Such a wonderful uh, Sunday morning. Okay, uh, teacher could like to say thank you so much. Stay safe and having a blessing day. Bye-bye children. Take care.